one half of D and D Productions. I'm your man Bird, man. My partner Stacks has some technical difficulties she had to attend to, but you know the cameras are always on, so the show never stops. We got a blessed opportunity to be with your man Doe Pesci, who's G Unit's producer slash engineer. Pesci, what's up, man? How you doing? Bro. Appreciate the opportunity. Bro. All right, we know who you are. I mean, but tell the people about who you are. Well, I'm a um, producer for G Unit, engineer. Do all the engineering. Tell the people where you from. From Queens, Shadyville, Shadyville, Queens. Okay, the name Doe Pesci is original. What's the definition behind it? Well, actually, Banks gave me that name. Banks just, I don't know, he just came up with it, called me Doe Pesci one day, and it just stuck. But it was Doughboy before that. Um, that's it. So, I, uh, you're a producer slash engineer for G Unit. Before we get into talking about G Unit, like, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I'm 27. I've been doing this shit since I was like 16 years old, 15, producing engineering. So, where did the inspiration for all that come from? Um, just. My, actually, my, my pops is into music, collecting records and collecting equipment and stuff like that. I just got into it like that. Plus, my homie down the block, Dev, he got a, a studio right we in right now. Started fucking with him, just coming up doing music. Everybody around me was doing music, so it's only right. So now we're going to jump into the big topic. You say you work with June. A lot of people want to know, how'd you get affiliated with them? Like, how did that come into the works? Um, I, I, was, I was fucking with um, Maserati Fox doing all, all, all his recording. He actually introduced me to 50, and Trav, tr just through Trav, actually through Trav and Fox. Trav is really the one who, who made that phone call, and was telling me like, yo, niggas want you to come fuck with him. Shout out to Trav. Yeah, shout out to Trav, MBB, you already know. What are some of the struggles you've dealt with because doing a, being a producer or engineer? Because I know it's a lot of hard work and dedication. <laughs> dealing, with a lot of, dealing with a lot of fuckery. People wanting free shit, People not coughing up the bread when it's time to. Just I've been through a whole bunch of shit, but it's just all a grind. Practice makes perfect, so you know what I mean. Being a producer slash engineer, which you feel like do you more have the more like the hands-on feel for? It? What's easier for you? I'm more hands-on with the I would say the production. That's what I really want to do. Engineering is just to you know what I mean. It's to keep me afloat, make the money until I make the big bread off the production. Besides G Unit, is there any other camp or artists that you work with? Oh. um... Nicki Minaj, Dipset, Ox, all everybody from Queens basically. All, all the rappers from Queens I done work with. The John Depps, the Stack Bundles. I work with everybody from Queens. It's a long list. <laughs> so if you had a chance with today right now to work with any artist in the game, besides being affiliated with Gene, which is a big camp, who would you take the opportunity to work with? I like the underground cats, like the 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 the, the, the Tyler the Creators, the Lil B's. I mean I like I like those dudes right now. I only Hold on, speaking of Lil B, there's a lot of, I mean, controversy going on with Lil B because a lot of people say, like, they be like, what the fuck is he talking about and how is he so successful? Why would you want to work with Lil B? I don't need just a, cre he's creative. He's just, he's a, he's creative. He says things that nobody, nobody would say. He's different, right? He's very different. I mean, I got a chance to work with him before, so, but, you know what I mean? I want to do something like a, like a mixtape with him or something like that. Your beats and all, like, producing, like, what does it come like? What does the energy come from? It just one day you wake up and say, you know what, I could do this, isn't that, or there's meaning behind everything. It's like spontaneous, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just be in that mood. Like, I could, be, I could have that, that energy for, like, a week. It could go off. I won't make a beat for, for two weeks. They make go crazy, make a beat for a whole, for weeks, you know what I mean? So just spontaneous energy that we get, that I get sometimes. A lot of people may not have known, but you were part of history because you was on the hunger for more, too. You was yeah, a producer for one yeah. of the big tracks. I'm not gonna speak about it, I'm gonna let you do speak about it. Yeah, I, I produced the Make Money track and I produced the uh, oh, uh, When I Get There track. Did a bonus tracks on the, on the HMF2. Um, and I recorded probably 70% of the seventy percent of the album. In, in two, for 2011, what you have for the people? Me and Banks got the Coke Corner 2 we working on right now. This makes it about to drop. Shit gonna be crazy. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get on this Jim Jones album. Trying to get on this this slaughterhouse album. Got a lot of things going on right now. Just trying to trying to make it happen. Just grinding it out. You got a fan page. You got a MySpace uh, or Twitter. People can uh, follow you. Find you. At, at, at Dope Pesci on Twitter. Dope Pesci on Facebook. Dope Pesci on MySpace. Do you have any shout outs for the audience? Um, shout out Glory Hound Studios. Shout out to Trav, Tony Ayo, Fifty Cent, Lloyd Banks, um, Maserati Fox. All the niggas who you know what I mean. Who had a part of me being here right now. So. I said, really? So yeah, I see it itself. We live in the Glory House Studios. Like I said, my partner Stacks has some business he had to handle, but the camera's always rolling. I'm Birdman, here with my man Dope Pesci. We had the opportunity to catch him. He gave us a perfect interview. You guys are gonna stay tuned.